everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is not going well for me. I mean, none of my days really ever go well for me, but today in particular because I um, am sad. Do you wanna know why I'm sad? Because all of my motherfucking snap hoes have me on deliver. I'm actually quite literally on the verge of tears, but I'm gonna have to power through to film this video for you guys. <sighs> Okay, so today I'm gonna be rating some of your guys' confessions. I asked you guys over on my Instagram to send me some of your juiciest confessions, and y'all did exactly that. Let's get right, okay, my dryer. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, bitch! I have had it with your bullshit. We're gonna start off, you know, super light, super easy. Um, I accidentally killed my best friend's dog. Okay, wait, what the fuck? I accidentally killed my best friend's dog by feeding him rat poison. I thought it was dog food. This was in 2019, she still doesn't know, but I bought her a puppy for her birthday. Girl, I'm telling you right now, if I accidentally killed my best friend's dog, bitch, they're not gonna know. I would channel my inner Meryl Streep and I would put on a performance, okay? I would be over here like, Pepper died? No, I love her. I love her so much. I put a lip gloss tube up my put. I think you guys need a little bit of a life lesson. There are some things that you keep to yourself and this is one of them. I'm not personally gonna sit here and act shocked. You know what I mean? Because there have been things that I have shoved up. I probably shouldn't say that. I'm gonna say it. You know what? There have been things that I have also shoved up. Not my coochie, cause I don't have one of those, but I remember when I was younger, I was like, I wonder if I'm really gay. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if like I'm actually gay. And I came to the conclusion that I was gay after I shoved a toothbrush. This next one says, I stole my teacher's phone for three days. By the way, I stole it because I didn't have a passcode and I found juicy pictures of her. Oh Lord. And I saw her messages between her and her husband and apparently she was having an affair with another teacher. I had to change schools because my mom found out about it. You know what? She obviously has a deficiency. So we need to stand by her through this tribulating time in her life, okay? She is suffering. She has a deficiency of vitamin D. Vitamin dick, of course. And she was obviously struggling. She did what she had to do to survive, bitch, okay? Okay, our next one says, I slept with my ex in a sewer. I'm not saying like the, the bad part about this. I honestly envy you. If there's one thing I would love to do, it is fuck my ex in a sewer. Not really the sewer part, more just the fuck my ex part, but my sister gave head to her, my brother. I'm really, 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 really scared. There's two ways this message could be interpreted. My sister gave head to her, my brother. So it's either my sister gave head to her brother or my sister gave head to my brother. Which one fucking is it? Because you know what? It makes the world of difference. Wait, what? Wait, your sister? Wait, if it's your sister, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, my sister gave head, because it's your sister, to her and my brother. You guys have the same brother. Hello? Child Protected Services? I would like to report a crime. I hid a girl in a locker for six hours, and no one looked for her. I fed her graham crackers through, little, through the little spot in the locker. I opened the locker, and she was a mess. I gave her a zebra cake in exchange for her silence. I get it. Not the locking her in the locker part, but bitch, the zebra cake. I have not had a zebra cake in so long, but now that I think about it, there is nothing I would not do for a zebra cake. When I tell you, I would take a bullet for a zebra cake. I would sleep with my ex for a zebra Bitch, I would sleep with my ex anyway. I want to know where this man is now. Is he like a serial killer, like a kidnapper? Is he like tying bitches up in the basement and like feeding them shit? You know what I mean? Because this is, this is serial killer behavior. I was randomly going through my dad's phone and in one of the shopping apps, he ordered a pink dildo. Oh, girl, me and him are matching because I literally have a pink dildo is that oversharing after a few months i was looking for a tie for school and i saw the dildo in one of his closets okay baby your dad is gay he is a homosexual and you know what he's having a hard time coming to terms with it and that's okay but you know what give me his number and i can help him come to terms with it a little faster i've had a little time to look inward and reflect i would like to apologize for my actions um, I murdered my- oh, wait, what? Oh my god, I don't even- What? I didn't read the rest of the sentence, and I feel like I probably shouldn't, because if I do, that means I am a witness to a crime, and do I want that? Kind of, let's read it. I murdered my neighbor's cat. I'm gonna need you to elaborate, because why? I guess would be my first question, like, was it an accident? Did you go over there and just fucking start stabbing that bitch? There's not much to elaborate on this. I guess slay, girl boss, yeah, slay, like, kill anything you want. I'm allergic to cats. So personally, you're doing me a favor. Okay, our next one says, I saw my friend's father kissing his daughter's boyfriend. Oh, let's stop right there. Let's take a second to digest that. I saw my friend's father kissing his daughter's boyfriend. I wanna tell you something, I wanna tell you something. If you could DM me the father's name and 
number. So your brother fucked his best friend and then you fucked your brother's best friend the day after. You know what? I honestly think that this is really good for the both of you because you two now are gonna have something to bond over. And I think with siblings, it's really hard to like find something to connect on, you know. But now you guys have one common interest and that is you fucked the same person. That is a beautiful thing, I think. Really. <sighs> Anyways, moving on. Okay, so once I went to my boyfriend's house to watch a movie. Oh, that's cute. And of course I had to go number two. Okay, not as cute. Uh, so I went to the bathroom and of course it didn't flush. So I did what anyone else would do and I fished it out. I fished it out. Ooh, tell me you didn't. Please tell me you didn't. Then I put it in the sandbox, you know, for cat. You put your shit in the litter box? And now we are married and I've never told- Girl, what in the Cinderella story is this? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I would not do the exact same thing in this situation. You know why once? I once had a man. I thought he was my twin flame. I thought we would be together forever. And then I shit in his toilet and it clogged. And I did the rookie mistake of telling him. I went up and I, I said, hey, like, you know, the toilet wouldn't flush. You know what he did? Do you want to know what he did? He flushed me, bitch. He flushed me out of his fucking life and I never heard from him again. So if there's one thing you do not do, it is. Tell that man you shit in his toilet. Bitch, you figure it out. You figure it the fuck out. But that is actually the end of this video, mainly because my battery is actually blinking at me, telling me to shut the fuck up because it's dying. I hope you guys love this video. Thank you so much for watching.